Hello guys, my name is Cosmo and welcome back to SnowRunner. Last time I actually cheated you out of a bit of content after we finished delivering those um, concrete slabs to the bridge. Uh, there was an upgrade spot uh, just like one minute away. Uh, so I quickly grabbed that before I recovered. <clears throat> and that was a gearbox upgrade. SnowRunner gearbox upgrade for uh, my Chevrolet Scout. So I'm gonna put that in. It uh, adds um, more low gears, which uh, useful. I mean, better I guess than the stock. Anyways, that will help me get through uh, muck easier. Hopefully, I don't end up mucked up very much. Uh, but we're not gonna be using this day. Uh, we are still going to continue doing the mountain bridge thing. So we need uh, metal beams. We left some concrete blocks last time. Uh, we have to actually get them from here. Unless there's another spot. Uh, actually, we can get them from there or the warehouse. Huh, interesting. Uh, in that case... Hmm, I'm actually wondering... Um, if I can drop it off at each side of the bridge. Like, if I can drop something here and something here. Huh, I think... It's possible, but either way, I have a route if I really, really need to on the other side. Uh, but either way, we need one times metal beams, and these are large, large things. Uh, we still have a problem in regards to um, truck capacity. Uh, so let's see if we actually have enough money to buy a flatbed for this. Actually, we do. I wonder what's the difference between a flatbed and a sideboard bed for carrying cargo. Okay, is this the exact same? This one looks... Yeah, they look about the same size. Hmm. I wonder... Well, to be honest, I don't have, actually have money for anything else right now, so I might as well get the flatbed for this, make this my uh, uh, used truck. And okay, let's hope that's what I need to do to get what I need done. That was a fair chunk of my cash. And let's do a garage. Right, so. Uh, let's head over to the warehouse over here. I think that's a better option. Actually, is there an option for me to bypass this if I just go fully off-road and climb this here? Can I even climb this here? Let's, let's give that a shot. And actually, let's uh, also skip time a bit. Uh, yeah, I'm skeptical. No, okay, fine. <laughs> Took one look at that uh, thick forest and I was like, nope, I'm good, thank you. <laughs> Let's not... I mean, every time we start up one of these episodes, we start up with like a huge uh, section where I'm just mucking around. <laughs> and I wonder if this is even a good option because this looks slightly flooded and uphill. Well, I guess we'll see. Let's head over to the warehouse and pick up whatever we need. We actually have a sideboard trailer here as well, in case uh, what we have on isn't useful. Also guys, um, usually I say the like and subscribe thing at the end here, but uh, if you like this kind of, you know, chill content without someone screaming and blurring into your ear, um, please do leave a comment down below, uh, it actually helps and motivates me to continue doing this uh, on a regular basis. It just helps because I'm not uh, one to go, oh my god, oh wow, just for the sake of uh, garnering attention. Or 
or appearing to be more entertaining than I'm actually am. I mean, uh, speaking of this area, I remember when we did it last episode with uh, the I think the GMC highway truck. I mean, we had such trouble through this, and we're going through the with the Fleet Star, and this is smooth sailing. For the first section there, I didn't, didn't even need to activate my all-wheel drive. Ow. That was a slip. Oh, they're busy. It is slightly funny to me that, you know, this looks like an entire horrible forest road, right? Doesn't look like a proper road, and yet you have side rails, which, you know, you, you, in the order of infrastructure, I think, you'd consider those to come after proper paving the road. Okay, are we taking a right here? Yeah, we are. Oh yeah, this is the... M oh god, that's terrible. Let's see if uh, the side detour here helps. Well, it really looks a lot more usable. Should I stick to the left side here? Hmm. I see a problem here. <laughs> okay, let's. Uh Winch our cells. Hmm. Oh, actually, yeah, never mind. That worked. I was worried that I had to winch back. I spy with my little eye a truck there, don't I? Yeah, that's a truck. Hmm. Um. Okay, let's not go off course. I'll uh, try to remember this. Maybe we'll uh, switch it up next time because we did the uh, two episodes of hauling in a row. Uh, maybe we'll switch this up and get the scout next time. If we already got the off-road upgrade for it. And try and see if we can get that truck. Like, I saw some like tiny islands there, which... Well, islands. I say islands, but you know, it's like muddy terrain, which is not... Uh, watery grave swampy terrain uh, which may help us maybe that's an upgrade part hmm. I mean uh, not all of the upgrade parts and stuff are unlocked when you you know visit the watchtowers there's still some blank areas which you actually have to physically go there and scout it out yourself. This is a pretty terribly muddy terrain to actually come back through with cargo. Uh, I think I may have to... Well... Yeah, use... The direct route. Oh wait, come on. Come on, what are you doing? Mush. Mush truck. It'd be so funny if you had like uh, husky dog, sled dogs, uh, voices, you know, not voices, but you know, barks on your uh, horn on the truck. <laughs> no? Just funny for me? Okay. Either way, back on Terra Firm Er. And at the warehouse.
energy. I wonder if this has like limited quantity, if it's just like a warehouse. I don't think so. Um, actually, let's see. Let's see if we have the option to... Let's see if we can do manual load. Oh, right. For manual load, I think I actually need... Yeah, a crane here to load it. Right, 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 right. For those uh, extremely hardcore people. But, well, no. I'm gonna... Because we don't have a crane here, and... We don't want to bring one. Let's... Metal beams, right? We need metal beams, nothing else. Might as well just check through these. So service spare part is one slot, metal beams are two slots. Oh yeah, this is not the quantity, it's the slot occupation. Right, 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 right. Okay, so this needs two slots. So... <laughs> slap. Load that in. And... Let's deliver this to the mountain bridge. Again, we have two options here. Uh, we'll see which one we actually take, which one looks uh, like a better option. But honestly, probably this, you know, straight away doesn't involve me climbing up anything. Factory, factory. I think so. Or is this the factory? Yeah, I think this is the factory. Okay, doesn't matter. Let's just head out. I don't know. Maybe I think it's. I haven't looked at the rewards. Um, are the contract rewards better? Like farming tools, oh, not that much better to be honest. I guess. Um, I was wondering whether you know I'm doing the right thing here. I, I'm, it's smart. I think it's smart to start unlocking the map and putting up bridges and stuff like that to make it easier for me in the long term. But I'm thinking maybe those are less XP. I mean, it hasn't been too bad. Um, we have we gotten decent rewards. We are at... We need 400 more XP, which I'm uncertain if this will cover it. To uh, get this solved and get me to level 4, which actually unlocks, I think, absolutely nothing that I really want. But it gets me one step closer to that uh, level 6. I do have a tiny issue regarding how... Um, much XP gate locked some things are but I guess it makes kind of sense because uh, there is a certain amount of pro progression to uh, the game but I don't I think cash itself have been just enough as a progression thing hmm. oh hey there tiny stream I'm gonna just splash through you, is that okay? Oh, okay. Oh wow. I was already preparing my winch. Okay, let's auto wheel drive off. And. Oh crap. 
well, not that big of a deal, to be honest. I think it was pretty smart. Uh, I'll have to actually go on the other side to deliver the things, the, you know, the concrete slabs we left here last time. Are they putting just a basic structure down for me to cross? No, I <laughs> guess not. <laughs> okay, uh, not a huge deal because we do have a little roundabout here. So we can do this, 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 and come back here on the other side. Where did I smash this? That looks decently smashed. That kind of looks like, you know, Rocky Balboa. You know, with the, with the droopy eye. What was that thing he screamed? Not Miriam. Vivian. Vivian! Was it Vivian? Oh, I don't remember. Vivian? Well, if you guys remember that for me, leave a... Leave a comment down below. All these weird uh, women names comes up in my head, like Deborah. And uh, excuse, uh, I'm sorry for any one called Deborah out there. It's a beautiful name. Deborah, Miriam, Vivian. Honestly, I, I don't know how I'm having a harder time with this with uh, an empty flatbed than I was with the load. Maybe because I picked up speed when I came down here? Possibly. I'm still not certain how much... I mean, sometimes you may want extra weight because that would put... I mean, weird to think of it, that puts extra weight on the, um, on the ground, which actually increases contact point if you have good wheels, with, sorry, good tires, and allows you to actually get through things better. I was gonna say don't smack it, but you know, you do what you want. And I still don't know why... I mean, sometimes I see like a little veil thing over my fuel tanks. I think that's like... Uh, terrain under it or something like that, like... Terrain stops it from moving, I guess. I think I saw it in uh, water for sure. So, you know, just stuff that uh, prevents the truck from moving forward. Ow. I don't know, maybe there's. Uh, I was thinking about the compression between the sideboard and the flat. Maybe at some point you have. Uh, uh, you know, stuff like sand or something to move, which requires actual, you know, walls. Okay. Uh, cargo management, I can just do it from here, right? No, I can't. I actually have to get this trailer hitched. Otherwise, they do not recognize my authority. Okay, let's attach a trailer. Oops. Stop moving. Cargo management. Fountain bridge. And there we go. That's how you make a bridge. Like a bridge over troubled rock slides. Um, not sure that made sense before the translations. Anyway, nice work, partner. We can now access the road beyond and see what the land further out looks like. Probably looks like another headache for me. <laughs> sure. Okay. Uh, I think we still haven't level up. We need uh, 200 or so more. Um, so, what are we doing now? We still have a fair bit of time. Uh, let's check that this roadblock. Roadblock? Roadblock. Service spare part time t times two. So, actually, we can totally get that from the, um, from the warehouse. As we just seen. Uh, my question now is... It has a cyber trailer. What do I do with this uh, trailer here? Do I just leave it here and not bother? 
Nah, I think it's smart. Actually, might as well get it out of the way. Let's see if we can do that without too big of a hassle. Truck, go where, go where I want you to go. I was trying to cheat there. You know, usually this would totally tear it, shear it off, but I'm kinda glad it's a bit more arcade. Okay, so let's uh let's actually head back to the um, to the warehouse, grab two two service parts and head out and solve that roadblock. You know, um, while the core of the game, again, I'm, I was not a, a huge fan, I haven't played um, Mud Runners or Spin Tires all that much, but um, one of the troubles those games had, I mean, especially the first one, Spin Tires, when it was a glorified tech demo, um, was related to just not having enough things to do, or you know, stuff like that. Um, so seeing that uh, SnowRunner actually gives us a lot of impact in the world, like, you know, making bridges and stuff like that, uh, which makes our jobs easier. It seems like a really cool... Uh, I mean, what you'd expect this genre to go to. Is actually affecting our uh, affecting the ground conditions. I mean, it would, but you know. Thankfully, we left the rain just five meters backwards. <laughs> Back there. Whoa, easy there. Management. Bricks, no bricks. Give us service spare parts. F, F. That's enough. Okay, let's set down a route for us. Here, here. Here. Ugh. I wonder if it's smart for us to uh, use a different route here, but I don't think so. Just go via the same one. We've had the... Uh, I'm hoping we won't get mugged. Uh, mugged. <laughs> Not mugged. Uh, it'd be really uh, weird if we'd get mugged. Uh, if we get stuck here. But yeah, let's do that. I'm staying uh, in Michigan, you know, the smallest starting three areas. Actually, I haven't even left the first area you actually get dropped in. Uh, just because I'm gonna build up my supply, my XP and stuff, because it's gonna get 
harder later on. Um, there's this uh, other YouTuber which I follow, uh, Stealth17, which I highly recommend you guys check out. He also does uh, comp content like this. Um, and he's having a hell of a time in Alaska, you know, with his, you know, starting trucks and stuff like that. He actually went to Alaska and, you know, Alaska, a lot of uh, mud and horrible rivers and snow. I mean, the snow is probably the worst, the worst part of this, but, well, the game is called Snow Runner, so you'd expect it to have some snow areas. And uh, actually, I've heard that Russia is... The Russian areas are pretty nice. However, uh, you can get, like, uh, you find some trucks and stuff, which are entirely... Well, not entirely, but s slightly unbalanced if you find them early. So I don't want to uh, ruin uh, that part of the game for me. Okay, we're a bit stuck here, so let's try and see if we can pull ourselves slightly free here. Oop. That's enough. Actually, I think by this point, given that I'm carrying cargo, before I go down there in the little creek ditch of doom, uh, I should probably do low gear and differential lock. for a bit longer. Okay, low gear, differential lock, and let's power through this. Okay, I can save the switch back to auto now. over please thank you I think the center of gravity actually does change uh, when you're having like more top heavy cargo oh is that the watchtower do we yeah we actually did yeah, uh, unlock this watchtower but what's uh what's here on this side there's just like a tall radio building or something. Kinda wish uh, we'd have a bit more information of what's actually, you know, gameplay tractable and usable and what's not, but oh well. Break. Show task. Rewards. Rocks again. Seriously, come on. Do me a favor and handle this, will you? Okay, accept. Close cargo management. There we go, and that gets me up to rank four. Honestly, I don't know what we'd do without you. This town is getting back on its feet, and it's thanks to you. Take this; it's well earned. We got some cash and some XP. We cleared up this roadblock, and actually, we still have a bit more time here. Um, we might want to, you know, go for this upgrade or something. Let's check the wooden bridge here. This just needs wooden planks, right? And we can take wooden planks from... Oh, actually, it's an easy job. Just get them from here and drop them here. But we'll probably do that uh, some other time. Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's just uh, get this uh, upgrade here. Should be relatively chill and easy. Do you want to go through that thick forest? Or do you want to go through this here. Well, actually, let's just see if we can go through the thick forest. Might as well burn off that last, last fuel there before we uh, recover. And I know that there are some people that actually play this game really hardcore, like no recovery, uh, set up fuel tankers everywhere, refuel areas, and stuff like that. Um, and, you know, good for them, more power to them. Um, 
for me just feels a bit grindy past the point when you're just you know doing logistics more than actually enjoying uh oh completely missed that spot but whatever you know just enjoying the core gameplay loop which here is you know just mucking around trucking around things and uh, making things happen but when you're actually just doing it so you can do more of that uh, but again I whatever makes uh, and makes everyone happy and makes them enjoy the game more to their tastes it's all good okay cool that's an upgrade and I thought this river would be worse than it is, but it's not. Oh, did I? I don't know. I actually have enough for traction in the high gear. So where is that yellow spot? Oh, there we go. Break. Get upgrade. Ooh, cool. So we got a better engine for uh, the Fleet Star. Awesome. Modification of popular engines, support increased power output, reliability, and acceleration potential at the cost of fuel efficiency. Fuel efficiency! <laughs> actually, this actually works for the Fleet Star, the GMC Highway Truck, and the Chevrolet Kodiak, which is like uh, a mid in between truck. Which we found. Huh. So, actually, I'm wondering. I'm wondering let's do that. Let's, um, let's go back. So, it's available for installation, it's available for purchase. So, I get one free iteration of this. This was what I was uh, gonna ask. Recover, yes. So we can put it in here, right? Just jam this in here, which I'm not seeing what it actually does in terms of upgrade, but it has bigger numbers, so I assume it's better. And if we're going to the Kodiak, for example, nope, back, customize. Yeah, it costs cash, so I have one free available option for that. Well, I assume that maybe you would want to have like, even from the same truck, maybe you want two trucks at the same time, which one is with a crane and the other one is, you know, with a flatbed or something. So you'd want separate upgrades, you know, multiple iterations of the upgrades. Um, yeah, if you're asking why I'm not using the Chevrolet Kodiak is because, yeah, I don't have the, uh, engageable all-wheel drive for it and that's my problem I think I may want to but you know explore Alaska <laughs> USA to find this item so I assume uh, it's not something I want to pick up exactly right now anyways um, I think this reach gets us to a good stopping point here um, again uh, if you like this episode uh, click like subscribe all that good YouTube stuff um, and I'll catch you guys in the next one